Hopefully the rain doesn't interfere with the audio of this video. Okay, I need you to sit right here. Come on. I need to talk to you for a bit. Every day I hear some of you say to me, Oh, you study math? I hated that when I was in school. I erased my brain and I'm a better person because of it. Nearly every single time I've heard this, they also add, Oh, my teacher was so awful, Ryan. If only I had you to teach me math, then I would be more appreciative of the math. And fairly regularly, I get some of my own computer science students who say, This gen ed humanities social science class is completely useless to me. I'm not going to need it for when I work at Emma Goopelsoft. Saying the fact that dismissing an entire field of study just because you didn't like the way that someone taught it is an absurd idea. I do get it. I understand that being involved with something that you don't understand is frustrating as hell. And I agree, math can be quite challenging, because thinking consistently logical in an abstract setting can be quite difficult. I disagree with the fact that many math teachers don't teach as well as I do. Hell, I don't think I teach that well. I can't blame these people too much because there are many YouTube videos right now that try to assert why these so-called useless fields are important, and none of them get to the heart of why that they are important. I've seen some that actually say that math is important because getting good at solving problems helps you solve other problems. That's pretty silly. If I told you that if you wanted to keep hitting yourself with the frying pan over and over and over, you need to practice on smaller pans, that's a pretty silly idea. Would you even listen to me at that point? I wouldn't. And I'm not saying at all that solving math problems is anything like bashing yourself in the head with a frying pan. At least there's some joy in hitting yourself with a frying pan. I'm joking, of course. I mean, really think about it. If these fields really were not necessary, don't you think universities would have figured this out by now? I mean, really think about it. Let's suppose that these math and humanities classes were really useless. I mean, imagine the huge amount of cost savings for universities. They don't have to pay professors anymore. They have less admin overhead. They have fewer classrooms that they need to maintain so they have more space. They have students who are happier because they don't have to take these useless classes. It just seems like a huge win, right? Universities have been around for many hundreds of years. Don't you think they would have figured this out by now? That they really are useless? I'm here to assert to you that every class is important. Whether it's a math or humanities or anything else, all classes are important in their own unique way. And it's not for the reasons that you might think. And it's not even really about the classes themselves. It is something much more fundamental. Now, I will completely admit, I work in a math area of computer science, and I use all of the things that I've learned throughout my math classes on a daily basis. That is absolutely true. And I hardly ever use any of the things I've learned in my gen ed and humanities classes on a daily basis. It just doesn't happen, because this is the area that I work in. And I think that's okay, because I'd rather have more people who are versed in a very specific thing versus being a jack of all trades. And I know people who are the exact opposite of me, who are working in the humanities, doing really important problems in there, and never solve equations daily. And I completely understand that. But here's my thesis. Every class that I've ever taken, and every class you will take, will be used indirectly, not necessarily directly. Why even have math at all? Why have humanities at all? Or why have any class? What's the point of having an education in the first place? We might as well ask those questions about any class that you take, rather than just these two specific areas. The whole purpose of all of this is to give you the critical thinking skills that you need in order to get your way through a hard problem or situation. And the assessments that we do in university are about whether or not you have those critical thinking skills to solve those hard problems, and to contextualize that problem in an ever-changing world. Going back to my friend who was dismissing all of the math stuff earlier, I assert that math is important because what other tool do we have to express things in a formal and precise way? 
Math is the only way that we have of doing that. If we have a problem in, say, writing a specification for a piece of software, for example, we better make sure that that specification is unambiguous and we better make sure that is correct. And we can use math to prove that that specification is correct. And what about my friend dismissing Gen Ed earlier? What do I have to say for him? Although I am not in such a field, so I can't necessarily speak for those people, I would also say that it's about critical thinking about what has happened in the past in terms of society or history or whatever. It's about contextualizing the decisions that were made then as well as what are being made now to help make the correct decisions in the future, and I hope you make the right choice. Are you kidding me?